Okay, uh, so continuing on then with um, propeller aerodynamics, we now want to talk about the uh, propeller blade aerodynamics. So the actuator disc theory sets us up to understand the aerodynamic environment at the propeller disc. Uh, that's an important starting point to uh, then subsequently uh, develop a method for uh, doing the design of a propeller blade itself. So. Here I've got this, it's actually a rotor blade, but it's not that different from a propeller, except it's not particularly twisted. But the nice thing about showing this is that you get a good view of the uh, aerodynamic section, the aerofoil section. Okay? So the only thing that this blade doesn't have is any real amount of twist. There might be a little tiny hint of twist on it. Anyway, the whole point is, and quite nicely, the way that this thing's been painted, uh, so when this thing's spinning you'll see these red and white stripes so as you know to not walk into it but uh, this actually uh, helps you understand how you might break a propeller blade up into section into different blade elements to be able to then uh, calculate the thrust and power of a whole propeller blade but concentrating on the actual um, aerofoil section of the blade the propeller rotates like that so leading edge and trailing edge so, the blades, we've got this inflow through the propeller disc, okay? So that's one of the aerodynamic velocity components. The other significant aerodynamic velocity component for the blade aerodynamics is due to the blade speed. So, with the blade rotation, we've got a low blade speed at the blade root, and we've got a large blade speed at the blade tip. So, the aerodynamic environment changes from root to tip, and that's why the uh, propeller blade is twisted. But we have to include, uh, in, in the model of the propeller blade, we have to include um, the, the aerodynamic environment due to that blade rotation. The inflow is one thing, but the blade rotation is another. Obviously the blade speed is simply the rotational speed multiplied by the uh, radial distance from the centre of rotation to the position on the blade that we are interested in. Okay, so. If we just sketch out a blade section, if this is the propeller disc, that's the propeller disc, this is the axis of rotation, so rotation omega in that sense. So the blade speed, whoops, blade speed, VB downwards in that sense, and the inflow, V, 1 plus A, that's the inflow, okay? So, this is our blade now, there's the blade cord, there's the blade aerofoil shape, okay, like that. The blade is moving. Blade is moving downwards. That's just the way I've sketched it. That's the cord line. Cord line from trailing edge to leading edge. Cord line, and that's the pitch angle. Okay. Now we're interested in the aerodynamic forces of this blade. So we've got the blade speed like that, and we've got the inflow velocity like that. So the resultant Aerodynamic velocity is dr, okay, resultant aerodynamic velocity, and that is responsible for the generation of the blade section lift and drag. That resultant aerodynamic velocity is at an angle of attack alpha relative to the cord line. So the blade section aerodynamics are a function of that angle of attack alpha. Okay, so what we have is that the lift of the blade section L is in the direction normal to the resultant velocity and the drag is in the direction parallel to the resultant velocity. I'm going to call that drag W, alright, because the symbol D is used for something else. So that's 
blame section aerodynamics. Now, um, a component of the thrust contribution due to this piece of blade is in that direction. I'll call that um, delta T, okay? So a component of lift con contributes to the thrust, a component of drag contributes to the thrust also in a negative sense. And remember, it's a torque that makes the propeller blade rotate. So the torque is required to um, move the blade and the torque reaction is the component of lift and drag in the vertical sense of direction. Okay, so that's a basic introduction to the blade aerodynamics. Uh, so again, this is just a video clip to introduce the main section of notes um, on the on the lecture um, course support page. Okay. That's all.